Hey guys, what's up? It's X Superst here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 5 of Boku no Kokoro no Yabayats. And I am just so ecstatic. I'm just so happy so far with what has developed between Yamada and Ichikawa. I just want to see what happens next, you know? <clears throat> so, without further ado, let's get on with it. This is episode 5 of Boku no Kokoro no Yabayats. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Okay. Interesting. Okay. That's not really a workplace. <laughs> He's an artist. Right, the groupings. He doesn't want to be in a group. He's a lone wolf. Alright. So this is going to be an interesting episode, I think, because now we're going to put him into the spotlight, right? Or not necessarily. We're going to force him to do something that he should be doing, which is socializing with other people. And it's not that he's too far gone in that respect. It's just, this is the time for him to grow. He has just some things about him that I think are just part of him. Well, you know, the way, the way that he acts around other people. It's not really cringy at all. It's actually cute at some times. It's cute at certain points. It might get a little bit cringy, but yeah, this this should be a, a good opportunity for him to get out of his comfort zone. You know, we all need to do that. And this can give him an, a chance to meet other people as well. Just outside of Yamada, maybe some other guy. And... I really do think he needs to go to a publishing company or something like that. What? Mm. True, they were his groupmates before. Uh, okay, I, I see what's gonna happen. She does though. Yeah, 
Was it? Oh my gosh. Okay. Muskaste Yamada. Bokuga onaji group in Hiro to stay on the Kisuit. Yatiga. Some of Boka, onaji group in Hiro to Nakasti. I don't consider should be a more honest with his feelings, even though she he already realized it and admitted to it. Admitted to himself. So sweet. Now that's making me hungry. It's pretty normal, bro. Oh, it's that umbrella sharing 
probed, I guess. Oh, at the very least he has a raincoat. That's really nice. Oh. What's happening? feeling but this was just wasn't that what why oh my gosh this is pretty blatant I think don't you think isn't it pretty obvious what she's doing Okay, so it's broken. Let's test it out. No, it's not. <laughs> but she had an umbrella. She got a, uh, whatever. Necessarily, but Very cute. Okay, right. There's this. Fine. Oh, I was right. Publishing. What? ね。ワンピとかハンタとか進撃とか。嫌な予感がする。ここが編集部です。ああ。奥にどうぞ。お、可愛い。もう少しする。知らん。俺を。さあ。詳しくね。山田はさ、漫画とか読む？ Look 
でよかったバキの生原稿やでうわバキみ見たい She just go. Wait, they just left. Come on. Okay, so we're definitely getting some vibes from him. Getting some vibes from her. He's totally misreading the situation. Pretty sure they can just catch up with him, right? If they still have another place to go to. Do they need? Do they need to go together all the time? But yeah. Very good, very good episode. The other guy, Adachi, needs to shut up though. I agree with that. Definitely needs to just read the room, I guess. And not let his hormones get away from him. That was a fun episode. We were able to see... Ichikawa in a group setting and I, I guess I understand his dilemma because he's definitely a manga otaku I guess because he he actually has a dream of being able to write maybe a light novel I think what he was initially 
going for. But maybe he also wants to make a manga in the future. So I really thought going into or going to visit a publishing company is the most logical thing for him. The other characters, I mean, were also interested in the publishing company. So they were able to visit that. And one thing I have to say is that Adachi just needs to shut up and he should rein in his hormones, definitely. We had a lot of uh, interesting moments between Ichikawa and Yamada in this episode. The fact that they had this Kabidon moment, <laughs> it's very interesting. Pretty much just they're deepening their bond and friendship, I would say. Not yet to the point that they'll start dating because I feel like I feel like Ichikawa still needs to be more comfortable in his own skin, but that's I think too much of an ask for I don't know maybe a 13 or 14 year old kid. So I think it will be a ways away before we get to see him. But right now I think he's fine. It's adorable. He's awkward, but it's pretty adorable because everything that's going on in his mind those are just his thoughts, and I think anybody at that age would have those kinds of thoughts or maybe not all but there will be a few people with those kinds of thoughts especially somebody who's very uh introverted somebody who likes solitude although for his case i think he's just forced into solitude because he doesn't know how to socialize with other people and he thinks too low of himself he has very low self-esteem but i think He'll gain a little bit more confidence the more that he spends time with Yamada. So that was very interesting. It was very surprising that Hara and Kanzaki were a little bit further into their friendship, right? It's not really a relationship. They're not yet going out, but Kanzaki ha did express his preference for curvy girls. And I think it's pretty obvious that he likes her. I don't know if Hara likes him back. So we'll get to see that. Hopefully also developing in the throughout the season. I feel like I feel like we also enjoy watching the supporting characters get their screen time and you know fall in love as well. We get to focus or not really focus, we get to see their love story develop as well. But Hara is very perceptive. She was able to figure out that Ichikawa actually likes Yamada. And that there's something going on between them. Although I'm not sure if Yamada actually... Well, we've gotten hints that she might be... She might be flirting with him. Or not necessarily flirting, but she's reciprocating his feelings. Or maybe she just likes hanging out with him. Maybe, he's a, she, maybe she's attracted to his charms. Because he is... He does have his charms. His awkwardness is actually a charm, I think. Because... He's very soft-spoken. Oh, how can I forget about the umbrella sharing moment? It, although it wasn't really an umbrella sharing moment, it was a raincoat sharing moment. So that's, I think, a very big hint about Yamada's position on the on this on the. It's a very big hint on Yamada and how she feels about Ichikawa. I think maybe she is also having these thoughts. The same with. Ichikawa. It's just she was she's able to act naturally in the situation despite maybe what she's feeling. We don't know yet. But there are a lot of hints and they're very blatant. <laughs> they're very obvious hints, but it's also fun to watch them work through it, I guess. Ichikawa working through his own emotions and his thoughts and Yamada just being so natural with interacting with him. I wouldn't say she's flirting. But if she if she is, it's so natural that you don't even you don't even consider it flirting. It's it's just like that's just how she acts. But maybe that's not how she acts uh, with everybody or with other guys. Yeah, it was a really chill episode, I think, except for the umbrella sharing moment. Now that one was, I, I guess, for him it was very it was very nerve wracking. I think you know his heart must have been pounding. And Yamada too. She, I think she felt embarrassed at that at that moment. But yeah, what can you do? I think that's her telling him or giving him signs 
but he's just way too dense and oblivious to notice the sign or not necessarily he notices them but you know i think for guys we 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 don't want to read between the lines too much because when you assume you're just you're just putting yourself in a very precarious situation you don't want to you don't want to overthink it and you don't want to misunderstand a girl's actions or yeah in this case you don't want to misunderstand a girl's actions so i i get that i get ichikawa and how he responds to yamada's proddings but yeah i mean at some point i think they'll just start falling for each other more and more and somebody has to confess <laughs> i don't know how long it's going to take but yeah very cute i loved it very adorable i'm also cheering on for Hara and Kanzaki. Adachi needs to grow up and mature. I feel like Kobayashi will be the right pairing for him, although I don't think she likes him at all. Anyway, that was episode 5 of Boku no Kokoro no Yabayatsu. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.